Hey, Maui and Trizzy here. In this video, we'll be chasing the Northern Lights in Finland, specifically in Sariselka for six nights at the Northern Lights Village, getting cozy in our glass cabin, trying out the Arctic saunas, husky sledding, and more. We knew we were going to pack our schedule up with fun snow activities, but the main goal was to witness the incredible natural phenomenon, the Aurora Borealis. But first, how did we get to this small town called Sariselka? It's located way north of Finland where Lapland is, above the Arctic Circle. The fastest way to get there is by air. From the Helsinki airport, we booked with Finnair. It was a quick hour and a half flight to Ivalo for a round trip price of 186 euros per person, 200 US dollars. From Ivalo to our hotel, Northern Lights Village, was another 30 minutes in slushy road conditions. We booked our transportation for an extra fee on top of our stay for convenience. Since we arrived in the evening, it was too dark to see what was around us besides snow. But even if we arrived early evening, it would still be too dark because the sunset was around 3.30 p.m. After checking in, we were escorted to our glass cabin. We've been speaking this experience to existence for quite some time, and now we made it happen. The bed was situated perfectly under the tall, ceiling-to-wall section of the cabin. Perfect way to lie down and look up at the stars or the northern lights from the bed. The glass window has a feature to turn off and on a defroster function to keep your glass clear of snow or condensation. The electric kettle was a necessity with some tea to thaw out from an active day in the snow. Plenty of hanger hooks on the wall from removing layers and layers of clothes coming from the outside. The bathroom was a finished style open floor plan where there's no separator from the shower and the toilet so the entire floor will get wet. However, they provide a floor squeegee. On the wall, there's a digital screen where you can request for service, book an excursion, check the weather, and be alerted for when the northern lights appear. The hotel offers excursions at an extra cost that you can book in the room or at the front desk. During our stay, we booked a few excursions, Arctic sauna, snowmobiling, aurora hunting, and husky sledding. Keep watching to see how those went. For the middle of November, we paid about $350 per night. Breakfast and dinner were included with the stay and it was a buffet style. The meals were about the same each day. For breakfast, we would eat eggs, bacon, croissant, and some other pastry. The one traditional Finnish pastry that we loved was the Karelian pie. It was a mini rye crust filled with barley or rice porridge, and the proper way to eat it is to top it with melted butter and hard boiled eggs. We sneakily stored some extra for our snack throughout the day. We also made sandwiches for lunch since lunch wasn't included. For dinner, the proteins would change daily and sometimes the global section had ramen. We tried a sliver of reindeer meat, but after one tiny bite, it wasn't for us. But what was for us was the water. Finland has one of the cleanest and safest tap water you can drink. Every day we were hydrated, our skin was glowing. Usually in cold weather like here, we would get sick. But there's something in the water that helped us survive and avoid being sick the entire trip. The hotel was walking distance from the small town we frequented for walks and groceries. It crosses the main road where cars drive on, but there's an underpass for pedestrians and snowmobiles. Because lunch wasn't included with the stay, we bought some instant noodles and ate lunch here on some days. This rainbow art installation was part of our daily routine. 
Down the road is one of many entrances to a trailhead that's part of the Uro Kekkonen National Park. In Finnish, it's called Uro Kekkosen, a former president of the country that loved the outdoors. The cutest thing about this town was visiting Santa's office. Unfortunately, it was closed when we went there in November, but it was very aesthetic from the outside. Other hotels were located here, along with restaurants, a bowling alley, and mini marts. We bought some souvenirs here as well. Generally, Finland is a cashless economy, so we used our no foreign transaction fee credit card the whole time in Helsinki and in Sariselka. We roamed the town and our surroundings for the first full day after breakfast. It was our way to get acclimated with the weather and our body clock. Sun rose at 9 a.m. and then set around 3.30 p.m. And for the first few days, clouds covered the sky. We lounged at the fireplace, sipping hot cocoa in the dining hall before dinner started. Trizzy was dozing off because of how early the sun had set. Our second full day, we arranged for a hotel transport to take us to a town that was 20 minutes away called Kilopa. We specifically asked to get dropped off at Suomen Latu, a three-star hotel that has a shop for snow gear rental, and it was right next to another entrance to the Uro Kekkonen National Park. We got fitted for snowshoes and rented them for 20 euros for four hours. Prices may have changed, so please check their website for the most updated costs. We took it on the Kilopa Trail, a two kilometer one-way route with different grades of incline. Snow was falling at varying speeds throughout the hike. This is crazy. It's beautiful. Were we having a good time? Hell yeah. But because of our new equipment, hiking a two kilometer incline took us longer than expected. But it was all worth it when we reached the top where a wooden pillar was and breathtaking 360 degree views of the snowy town. Things have been so beautiful, so gorgeous in Finland, Lapland, sorry, Selva, Kilopa. Finland has just been treating me right from the people, from the culture, from the places, from just everything. After grabbing hot chocolate and warm lingonberry tea at the cafeteria, it was time for the main event. Well, we came to Kilopa for our first Arctic sauna at the Savu Sauna next to Suomen Latu. The snow falling while we did our river plunge was epic. There's no better way to kick off our first Finnish style contrast therapy. We weren't ready for how cold it was going to be, so our first attempt was a quick in and out. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> then straight into the smoke sauna. In the sauna we were joined by locals who loved the vapor. So they kept throwing water onto the hot stones. For us rookies, our steam tolerance was low. But eventually we built up to it. The locals expressed how impressed they were that we went for a dip several times. This method of bouncing back and forth from cold plunging to sitting in a smoke sauna is the Finnish way of holistic medicine. It's known that homes were built with saunas before. We felt the health benefits during our first session, especially after our recent hike, and from traveling on several planes to get to Sariselka. We loved how we felt afterwards. We wanted more. So luckily, our hotel, the Northern Lights Village, offered that service, so we booked it for the next day. In the morning after breakfast, we went through the town again to get to a trailhead that would lead us to the Aurora Hut. 
This hut is where people can go in the night to view the northern lights and strike up a fire in the available pits, cook some sausages, brew up some hot berry juice, and keep warm while the aurora borealis hovers over them. We were only here in the day. The hike to it was a winter wonderland. Because snow had been falling since the day prior, the trail was covered with fresh powder. The running creek gave us such a peaceful moment over a bridge. It was a white hazy dream walking amongst a snowy forest. It was less than a one kilometer walk from the start of the trailhead to reach the hut. When we reached the hut, we didn't realize how big it would be. There's an inside section where you can keep cozy with seating and fireplace. There are restrooms available too. Just remember to leave no trace, so please pack in, pack out your trash and belongings. Now we had a fairy tale princess moment as the bird whisperer before we started our trek back to the hotel. Our sauna session at the hotel came after a hike to the hut. Because it was a private session, we paid 100 euros for an hour. It had a changing area, an outdoor cold pool, in a large sauna with plenty of seating. The pool was cold, but not as cold as the river at Suominlatu. But this recovery method made us feel great once again. We made some snow angels on our way back to the cabin, then rested before dinner. It had been extremely cloudy and gloomy and no potential signs of the northern lights on the forecast. But after dinner on the fourth night in Sariselka, there was a hint of green in the sky. It didn't last long, but it was enough for us to have witnessed it with our naked eye and with our cameras. In the morning, our energy was high after seeing our first Aurora Borealis. And to make things even better, the sun was out. Here's how a clear day in Sarasoka looks like. The colors of the sunrise glistened on the snow. We chose the perfect day to indulge in a full day of excursions. First up after breakfast was reindeer feeding. You won't believe this fact, but there are more reindeers than people in Lapland. The reindeers are let wild during the warmer seasons, then hurtled back together to their farms when fall and winter comes. They ate moss out of our hands, so we had to be careful not to get knocked by their antlers. Baby reindeers were a little shy and slow to eat from our hands. Nope. Okay. Some reindeers were ready to ram others. We finished the feeding by warming up inside of a kota, which means hut or tent in Finnish. We drank hot berry juice called gleg. It's a Finnish drink that has different berries and spices boiling in hot water. It's a way to keep warm on cold days. And it did its job. Our next excursion was something we've never done before, snowmobiling. The hotel had all the gear and equipment for us, so after we got into our suits, we hit the snow for one of the best ways to see Lapland in the winter. The clear skies with the snow and the sunset was magical. We drove over frozen creeks, between trees, and wide open fields at the top of the hill, where we dropped our jaws at the beauty of the Arctic. Oop, I'm sinking. So beautiful. In the middle of the field, we stopped to drink more hot berry juice. We also made a stop at the County Spa Triangulation Tower. At the top of the tower, there's more unforgettable views. And in the distance, it's the border of Russia.
We didn't finish the snowmobile tour unscathed though. We did have an incident where ours toppled us over, but because of the soft powdery snow, there were no injuries. This is why it's important to get travel medical insurance on your trips. We were covered by Safety Wing, but luckily didn't have to make any claims. Our Safety Wing affiliate link is in the description to purchase travel medical insurance. Our last excursion of the night is hunting for an aurora. One thing to note is that this excursion does not guarantee that you'll see the northern lights. And if you don't see it, there's no refund. We were okay with that. We were driven out about an hour to Lake Inari in hopes of seeing the lights reflect off of the lake. After a short trek through the snow, we situated ourselves on top of a wooden platform overlooking the forest. We saw the lights very subtly. Different colors like red and yellow appeared, but only for a short time. Although the sky was clearer than most days we've been there, the KP index, which indicates the Earth's atmosphere geomagnetic activity, wasn't high enough to see the vibrancy of the aurora. When there is no more aurora in sight, we made our way to a kota just below the wooden platform for more hot berry juice before we drove back to the hotel to end the night. Our last full day in Sariselka and we were slightly bummed that our chances of seeing a strong aurora borealis was becoming more slim. We went sledding with the Siberian Huskies and quickly our frowns turned upside down. They took us for a morning ride with the sun out and the air crisp. These Huskies are fast, strong, and full of energy. We initially booked for just a 5 km ride, but the owner of the Huskies gave us 10 km because the Huskies were too hyped and needed to use up some fuel. Another gorgeous path through the forest and open fields. We thank the Huskies for kicking off our morning so memorably. They are the cutest and loved being petted and attended to. And we have to let this be known. Our pack was led by two female Huskies, a mother and daughter duo. Of course, to end our excursion, we went into a kota for some hot berry juice. We went for another walk to the village afterwards, this time seeing it with the sun out. Our last lunch in Sariselka was a decent pizza. Then it was time to rest and pack up for our departure back to Helsinki tomorrow. Good thing we packed up before dinner, because after dinner, the Northern Lights gave us a final show that we would not forget. This time, it wasn't subtle. It wasn't just for a couple of minutes. It was out for hours, dancing and twirling above us. Green, white, purple. We teared up. What a way to top off a week-long stay in Sariselka. From cold plunging into a natural river, to sharing a sauna with locals, to hiking through a winter wonderland, to flipping over in a snowmobile with beautiful views surrounding us, to feeding reindeers and sledding with huskies, to visiting our first national park outside of the U.S., and to witnessing Earth natural phenomenon to its near extreme, Cheers to Sari Selka, we had an incredible time from day one. Our biggest tip for anyone chasing the Northern Lights is to stay as long as you can. In Lapland, the Aurora is expected between the months of September and March. And remember, just because the sky is clear doesn't mean that you'll see the lights that night. It all depends on the geomagnetic activity of the Earth's atmosphere. Also, purchase some Hot Hands hand and toe warmers. We used it every day. Thank you all for watching our six nights in Sariselka. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button to see some of our past, present, and future adventures. Safe travels! Kitos!